Now let us look at how we write the electronic configurations of transition elements. Let us use scandium as an example. Scandium has an atomic number of 21. So if we apply the off-ball principle, we can start filling electrons in the 1s shell. Then we fill the 2s shell, followed by the 2p. Then the 3s, and then the 3p. Now so far we have 18 electrons, which means we have to place three more electrons into orbitals. Now remember, according to the off-ball principle, after we fill the 3p orbitals, we then fill the 4s, followed by the 3d. And so here we have written the electronic configuration of scandium. Now, to avoid writing this in a lengthy way, the core electrons can be represented using the symbol of the nearest noble gas. The nearest noble gas to scandium is argon. Argon has an atomic number of 18, and so the symbol for argon can be used to represent the first 18 electrons of scandium. So here we have a shorter way of writing the electronic configuration of scandium. The noble gas symbol, which is in square brackets, represents the core electrons. The electrons present in the 4s and 3d orbitals are the valence electrons. So in summary, for any transition element, the symbol of the nearest noble gas can be used to represent the core electrons. Another point to note is that the electronic configuration is written in the order of principal quantum numbers. Let's look at our scandium example again. We had written it like this because we had filled the 4s before filling the 3d orbitals. However, the correct convention is that the orbital with a higher quantum number should go last. So the correct way to write it is shown here. In lecture 1.3.2, I had asked you to use the off ball principle to write the electronic configurations of chromium, copper, and molybdenum. If you apply the off ball principle, you would have got their electronic configurations to be as follows. Now these elements are actually exceptions to the off ball principle. So the electronic configurations shown here are not entirely correct. Let us see why they do not follow the off ball principle. Here I have represented the core electrons using the noble gas symbols. So according to the off ball principle, chromium is expected to have a configuration where there are four electrons in the 3d orbitals and two electrons in the 4s orbital. So according to the off ball principle, chromium has a 3d4, 4s2 configuration. Also, copper is expected to have a 3d9, 4s2 configuration.
and molybdenum is expected to have a 4D4 5S2 configuration. However, we have to remember that electrons would arrange themselves in orbitals in whatever way that makes the atom most stable. It is known that completely filled or exactly half filled orbitals lead to greater stability of the atom. So in the case of chromium, the electrons can arrange themselves so that both the 3D and the 4S orbitals are exactly half filled. In the case of copper, the electrons can arrange themselves to result in a completely filled 3D orbital and an exactly half-filled 4s orbital. In the case of molybdenum, the electrons are arranged to give exactly half-filled 4d and 5s orbitals. Now why do completely filled and exactly half filled orbitals have greater stability? There have been two main reasons proposed for these phenomena, which are symmetry and exchange energy. At this level we will only consider the effect of symmetry because the concept of exchange energy will require covering some more advanced topics. So for the year one level, I will just give an outline on symmetry. It is proposed that a symmetrical distribution of electrons lead to greater stability of the atom. In other words, the atom is more stable when electrons are evenly distributed amongst the individual orbitals. For example, according to the Aufbau principle, we expected a 3D4 4S2 configuration for chromium. Let us use the arrows and boxes diagram to get a picture of this arrangement of electrons. So the boxes represent the orbitals and the arrows inside them represents the electrons. The electrons in these two valence orbitals are not evenly distributed. As you can see, one of the 3D individual orbitals is empty, while the others are half filled. The 4S orbital has two electrons. This arrangement of electrons amongst the, four, the 3D and the 4S orbitals is considered to be unsymmetrical because the electrons are not evenly distributed amongst these two orbitals. If instead we took one electron from the 4S and placed it in the empty 3D orbital, then the electrons would be distributed more evenly amongst the valence orbitals. So a symmetrical distribution is proposed to make the atom more stable as compared to an unsymmetrical distribution. The same rationale can be applied to explaining the actual conf electronic configurations of copper and molybdenum.